Hi friends, welcome to today's yoga flow. My name is Maris Mortensenberg and I'll be leading you through a restorative mobility class. Let's go ahead and take our place at the back of the mat. Just grounding down through our feet, spreading our toes out and planting our soles firmly on the mat. Let's inhale those arms up to the sky, meeting the palms in the middle over our head and bringing them down to heart. Take a moment here to close off your eyes and to set an intention for these 20 minutes. To be here, to be present, to be on your mat and allow all else to fade away. Let your focus be on your inhale, on your exhale, on the movement of your body. Let's inhale those arms up to the sky once more and exhale them down as we dive down into our forward fold, reaching for our toes. Inhale, straight back, creating space, and exhale, fold. Reaching for the toes, the shins, the knees, wherever you can comfortably reach. Let's go ahead and slowly walk those hands out into a high plank position, holding here for just a moment before dropping down to our knees and releasing those hips back into our child's pose. Untuck those toes, extend those fingers out in front of you, bringing the booty back towards the heels and extending through that spine, getting a nice stretch here. Just focusing on your inhale, on your exhale, allowing yourself to be here, right where you are, right in this moment. You're exactly where you need to be today. Let's go ahead and come up to all fours on our knees and on our hands. We're gonna inhale and arch the back, looking up to the sky. And as we exhale, let's flow back into our child's pose. Good, inhale, all fours, arching the back, looking up to the sky. Exhale, round back into child's pose. We're going to continue this movement. Try to make it a wave-like motion. Inhaling, arching the back, looking up to the sky. Exhaling, rounding back into your child's pose. Just beginning to wake up these muscles in your body. Inhaling up to all fours. Arching the back, looking up to the sky. And exhale to child's pose. Good, holding child's pose for just a moment. We'll take this one last time. Inhale, arch the back, looking up to the sky. And exhale, round through to child's pose. Good, just stay here for a moment. Recentering, refocusing on that breath allowing all else to float away, only thinking of your inhale and your exhale. When you're ready, let's push up to all fours, bringing our hips directly over our knees, our wrists directly under our shoulders, Let's tuck the toes under, push the hips back, push the heels back, and come into our first downward dog of the practice. Go ahead and walk out your dog if that's comfortable for you. Moving the hips, moving the feet, bending the knees, doing whatever feels comfortable for you here in this first downward dog of your practice. Just taking your time here to settle into this posture. And when you're ready, let's push back with those heels towards the mat, reaching for the mat. If you can't quite make it, that's okay. Just be mindful that you continue to push those heels to the mat and ground through your palms and your hands. Let's inhale the right leg high to the sky in a three-legged dog. And on your exhale, let's bring it through, first bringing the toes of our right leg down towards our left hand and our knee towards our right hand, dropping into a pigeon posture. If you're comfortable here with your hands on the mat and chest high, feel free to stay here. If you'd like to bring your elbows down to the mat, feel free to stay there as well. And if you'd like to bring your head down to the mat, coming all the way down and laying across your knee with your body, please feel free to do so as well. 
If you'd like to challenge yourself, you're also free to bring those arms out straight in front of you, reaching in front of you. Just focusing on your inhale and your exhale. I know there's tight and tense sensations in this hip. Oftentimes we hold our emotions, we hold our stress and our strain in our hips. Allow yourself to be in the sensations that you feel. Your mind may tell you to pull out of the posture, but do not listen. Just be here, be with yourself, become one with that sensation and allow it to release. When you're ready, let's ground our palms down on the mat, wherever you're at, and slowly rise with our chest, bringing our hands back to our knee, to our toes. Let's tuck the toes under of our left foot, pulling up through that leg off the mat and stepping back with the right leg to meet the left in our high plank position. Let's inhale, and on your exhale, I want you to slowly, slowly, slowly lower all the way down to the mat bringing your entire body to the mat, untucking the toes, dropping the elbows to the mat, and bringing your forehead down as well. We're going to take a full body engaged movement here. So what I want you to do is bring those toes down, pushing through the mat. I want you to push through your calves and engage through your calves, engage through your quads, engage through your hamstrings, and then I want you to pull your booty together, engaging the glutes, and when you're ready, inhale your chest up off the mat. It's a little movement, but a full body engagement. Just inhaling and exhaling here, focusing on your breath. Let's inhale and on our exhale, lower down. Let's bring our palms to the mat, bring our elbows up, and again, engage through our entire lower body, pulling those glutes together. And on an inhale, pull up with your chest, bringing your entire upper body off the mat if you can. If you need to keep a bend in your elbows, as I've just shown you, continue to be there. Inhale. And on your exhale, release to the mat. We've got one more. Take whichever variation is most comfortable for you. And if you'd like to challenge yourself, let's pull up and bring our entire leg off the mat, really engaging through our toes, really engaging through our booty. We'll inhale. And on an exhale, pull your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Or what you can do is pull up and bring your knees to the mat, coming back into a tabletop, tucking the toes, and then pulling under into your downward dog. Just getting here, however, is most comfortable for you. Holding here. One of the main goals of a downward dog is to bring that sternum closer and closer to the mat. So just be mindful of this as you continue to practice this posture. Let's inhale our left leg up to the sky in a three-legged dog. And on your exhale, we'll step it through, bringing our left toes to our right hand, our left knee to our left hand, untucking the toes of our right leg and being here in our pigeon pose. You can stay up with the chest, come down to the elbows, extend through the hands all the way out in front of you if you'd like to challenge yourself and you can bring your forehead down to the mat. It's okay if you're in a different variation than you were on the right side. Each side of our body is different, so feel free to just listen to yourself, listen to your body, to their needs. Focusing solely on your inhale, on your exhale. Diving into those sensations that you feel, being one with them. I know it's tense but just allow yourself to be in that posture, be in that sensation and allow that stress and tension to release. Inhale, exhale.
Good, let's come up with our palms, bringing our palms back to our knee, back to our toes, inhaling our way up. We'll tuck the toes of our right foot under, coming up off the mat with that leg and step our left foot back to meet the right in a high plank. And then we'll just push our hips back into a downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna take a little bit of a challenge here. So if you're comfortable in this downward dog, stay here. If you'd like to challenge yourself, go ahead and wrap those elbows so they're facing down to the mat and then bring them down to the mat in your dolphin. I'm showing you that you can step out farther away from your elbows to make this a little bit easier on your shoulders and on your abs. And we can step our toes even closer into our elbows for more of a challenge, more of a strain, more of a strength here. Good, just hold here, focusing on your inhale, on your exhale. Good, it's okay if you shake. This is a strengthening exercise. Let's inhale, and on our exhale, slowly step our feet back, back, and back until we're in a low plank position. Drop the knees, and then we'll send our hips back into a child's pose. Just holding here. Recentering, refocusing, and connecting with our breath. Let's inhale and exhale, sinking deeper into the posture. Just inhale, exhale. And on your next inhale, slowly rise so that you're seated on your heels with your booty. When you're ready, just go ahead and bring those legs around to whichever side is most comfortable for you so that you're now in a seated position with your legs extended in front of you. Take your time getting here. Before we inhale, our arms high to the sky, extending through our spine. And exhale, fold, reaching for your toes, your knees, your calves, whichever is most comfortable for you. Remembering to hinge from the hips, not the lumbar spine. If you'd like to take a different variation, feel free to bend your knees and plant your soles of your feet firmly on the mat. We'll then take our arms underneath our knees, grabbing onto each elbow, and then fold over the top of those knees. A beautiful stretch to increase your flexibility so that you can get into that fold and to get deep into those hips. Just stay with whichever variation you're in, bending through the hips not through your lower lumbar spine good inhale exhale sink deeper into the posture just focusing on your inhale on your exhale allowing all else to float away being in the sensations that you feel here let's inhale on our exhale, we'll slowly roll up. And I want you to bring your palms of your hands down on the mat just behind your hips with your toes, excuse me, your fingers facing your toes, making sure that your palm is comfortably all the way on the mat. I'll show you the first variation of this movement. We're gonna bend the knees, plant the soles of the feet on the mat, and inhale our hips high to the sky, coming into a reverse tabletop position opening up through those shoulders, not sinking down into them. You can stay here in this variation or you can extend through the legs, point the toes, and then inhale your hips off the mat. Good, coming into that reverse plank position, making sure not to, not to fold or come and sink into those shoulders but to extend them out to push out taking a slight external rotation engaging through the shoulders good inhale and on your exhale release the hips wherever you're at coming back into that seated position just giving yourself a nice shake out through those legs Let's go ahead and take our right leg. I want you to bring the sole of your right foot to your inner left thigh and allow that knee to fall away from the rest of your body, falling outwards, good. Let's inhale those arms high to the sky and on an exhale, we're gonna fold. Good, reaching for those toes, reaching for the calf, the ankle, the knee, whichever's most comfortable for you. 
If you'd like to take a different variation, we're going to plant the right foot firmly on the mat about a hand's distance away from your left leg. I want you to come around the front of your right leg with your right arm coming back and reaching for your back there. Then your left arm will come around your back and I want you to grasp your fingers in a bind and then fold down. Just staying in whichever variation you're comfortable in here in your Mary Chasana. Good. We should be stretching but not straining. So listen to your body. Listen to their needs. Let's inhale. And on our exhale, go ahead and release the bind. Release whichever variation you're in. Bringing that right leg down. Taking a nice little shake out. And then taking the same posture on the other side again bringing the sole of your left foot to your inner right thigh allowing your left knee to fall away from your body let's inhale our arms high to the sky and exhale fold reaching for our toes reaching for your ankle your calf your knee whichever is most comfortable for you and just sinking into this posture if you'd like to take the other variation, let's plant the left foot firmly on the ground about hands distance away from your right leg. We'll come around the front of that knee and around reaching for the back with our left arm and our right arm will come around our back and grasp the fingers of our left. We'll inhale and on your exhale, we'll fold down, making sure to flex through the toes of our right foot. Again, just breathing into whichever variation you're in, allowing for stretch, but not strain. Inhale and exhale deeper into the posture. Inhale. And on your exhale, release the bind, come up out of whichever Mary Chasna variation you are in. Good, and then just extend through those legs, just taking a nice little tap out with those again, and then coming into your easy pose, into a crisscross position, whichever's most comfortable for you here in your seated position. Let's inhale those arms high to the sky, and then on your exhale, let's fall to our left, bringing our left elbow down to the mat and our right arm up over our head, coming into a nice side body stretch making sure that both sit bones are grounded on the mat. And if you need to bring your elbow up off the mat and extend through the arm in order to do so, please do. Inhale and on our exhale, round through the front and come to the right side, bringing your right arm down to the mat, your left arm up over your head. Again, bringing both sit bones to the mat and you can extend through that right arm if you need to in order to do that. Inhale. And on your exhale, round through the front, coming back over to the left side. Good, bring that left elbow down to the mat, the right arm up over your head. If you'd like to get a deeper stretch, go ahead and turn the palm of your hand so that your left pinky is now parallel to the mat. And then just look up, taking your gaze up to the sky. Good. Just inhaling and exhaling into this posture. Let's inhale and on our exhale, round through to the right side. Bring the right elbow down to the mat, the left arm up over your head. Again, if you'd like to take a deeper stretch, just rotate the palm of your hand so that your pinky is now parallel to the mat and just look up either towards your armpit, towards your fingers, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Again, just being aware that both sit bones are grounded on the mat. Wonderful, inhale, and on your exhale, round through the front, reaching your fingers straight in front of you, just taking a moment here to stretch through the spine. Inhale, and on your exhale, slowly round up to your seated position. Wonderful, let's inhale those arms up to the sky, meeting our palms in the middle over our head, and let's exhale those palms down to heart closing off the eyes and taking just a moment to come back to our intention for this practice. To be here, to be present, to allow all else to float away and simply focus on ourselves. 
to allow these 20 minutes to just be for us in peace and in calm as we stretch through our bodies. Take this intention with you into the rest of your day to be and to let be. Let's inhale our arms high to the sky, meeting our palms in the middle over our head and then bringing them down, pausing just for a moment at your third eye chakra in between your eyebrows. Inhaling into the chakra and exhaling the palms down to your heart. Thank you so much for being here with me today, friends. Thank you for taking this time for yourselves. I send you light, love, and blessings. Namaste. Thank you again for being here with me through this flow. Please, if you have not, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you indeed did enjoy. And go ahead and hit that bell icon to keep yourself up to date on any new videos that I post. Thanks again, friends. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.